Hi guys, um, welcome to today's lesson where we are going to use the Google Vision API to send an image and get some information back about that image um, using the GCP machine learning algorithms. So the first thing we need to do is create a project either on the right hand side by create project or go up the top as always and click new project. Give the project a name that you're going to remember and something logical. Create the project. It's always, it'll take a few seconds. And then once up and running, um, you appear on that project dashboard, as you can see. So the first thing we need to do is enable the Vision API itself. So if you type Vision, uh, it should come up. Uh, Cloud Vision API. Click it on the bottom. Cloud Vision API. Enable that API. It takes about 40 seconds to come through. And that's the API enabled. So it says to use this API, you may need credentials. Click the create creden credentials to get started. So just click create credentials. What we're going to do um, is use what API are you using? So we're using Cloud Vision API. So Cloud Vision. You're not using either the App Engine or Compute Engine. What credentials do I need? Give the service account a name. So I'm just going to call this Cloud Demo. API vision. Select a role, go project and give it owner. We want a JSON and you want to hit continue. And then it will download um, a JSON document down on your browser that has um, the, the required credentials. So that's that up and running. Um, next thing we need to do then is uh, open up Visual Studio Code, and then we'll begin creating a Python program to actually send that image. So on Visual Studio Code, I've just created a folder um, to work in. The first thing we do is a new file. I'm just going to call this file uh, something logical. So I'll give it test hyphen, oh, not typing, <laughs> test underscore vision uh, dot py. So Python file. Active active extensions. I'm in Python 3.8. Um, the next thing we're going to do then is go get our JSON um, image file and then drag it in to VS Code so we have it ready to go. So, or sorry, our JSON um, credentials file. So in downloads, I'm on Mac, same if you're on Windows, go grab your file. Uh, grab your file, drag it in. Uh, that's your key in your folder, in your root directory, ready to go. Next thing we need to do is actually install the uh, Google Vision Python um, library. If you don't have it installed already, um, install it. If you do have it installed, then you're good to go. But to do that, new terminal or command line, and then it's the command uh, pip install. Um, I'm going to put an upgrade just in case you're out of date. Upgrade, uh, and then it's Google hyphen cloud hyphen uh, vision. Hit enter. That's it off and running. Um, it'll be installed. Perfect. If you have it already installed, it'll do an update if it needs updated. Um, otherwise, you might have to sit for a few seconds before it comes back online. So we need to import a few libraries. The first thing we're going to import then is our IO library. Then we're going to import the OS, which is the operating system. Then from google.cloud, so from the Google Cloud library, import uh, vision, so we need the vision um, API. Then from Google, sorry, from Google dot cloud dot vision, import types. So we'll need the types library. Next thing we need to do is then set our environmental variable to use this credentials file. So to do this, what we need to type in then is os dot uh, just like so. Open square brackets, um, then in quotes put Google uh, application app. Let me make sure this is all spelled correctly in capitals. Application underscore credentials. Credentials, I A L S. And then set that equal to a raw data type. So R quotes, it just means this is going to be a raw string. Uh, this so if you just copy uh, the relative path, push it back in and control V or command V depending on what you're doing, and that is now telling uh, your operating system to use this set of credentials when we go 
um, to, to, to validate the Vision API request. You also, or what I found is you need to put this inside the project or at least take it out of your downloads. Um, if I left it inside my downloads, it was bouncing back a 403 error. So just, just leave it inside your downloads. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do then is just get the uh, client in. Um, I'm just gonna set that equal then client. I've just copied and pasted that in for speed. Equal to vision dot image annotator dot client. Okay, so then the next thing we need to do is actually get an image um, that we want to send. So if we put in uh, image to send um, and we go on to Google itself, I've typed in test OCR image. If we go to images, um, there's a noisy one, so I'm just gonna download that. So I want to uh, save image as, and I wanna call this test image, and I'm gonna put it just straight inside my project. Um, no questions asked. As you can see, I was practicing earlier and downloaded a few more. Um, no questions asked. Um, image to send. Then we need to set the actual file itself. So file underscore name is equal to the OS dot path dot the absolute path um, of where that file is living. So that's right here. So if I just copy the path itself, and this time it's absolute, so we're going from the users directory. And let's just run the script again to make sure we haven't made any mistakes. That's perfect. Okay, so then what we need to do now is then read in that file. So it's with io dot open uh, argument file name, which is the path of the file we have above. And then we're just looking to read that file in. So it's an RB argument. Then with, or sorry, as, and then I'm gonna read that in as an image, underscore file, colon. Uh, and then I'm just gonna set content equal to uh, the reading of that file. So it will be image file dot the read method. And let's just check that works because quite a lot of typing there. Oh, it's good to check as we go. Perfect, so we can read in that file. Then we want to set the image itself equal to the types that we imported at the top. Oh, sorry, image is equal to the types that we imported at the top uh, to the image and then content equals content. Okay, what did I just do there? So what I'm doing here is basically I'm setting the image um, so the types that I've imported at the top right here uh, equal to content equals content of that reading. Hopefully that should work despite the warning. Yeah, it's fine. Just a little buggy on my IDE. Then the response, so we're gonna make a request, uh, which is gonna be the response library is gonna be equal to the client, um, which we've imported already. And then we're gonna do label detection. Um, in fact, I'll just copy that in to make sure I spell it correctly. So it's client dot label detection. Uh, live coding never good. Image equals image, and then we save, and then we want to just check that's working. Yep, that's working despite the warnings. Uh, then we want to do labels uh, is equal to uh, the response that we sent. Uh, dot and then we want the label annotations and again I'm just going to copy and paste this in from code I was sitting on the side just to make sure it's spelled correctly. Um, let's do a little bit of commenting so uh, here we are reading in the image file to memory to memory then here we are setting the image so I forgot my uh, hyphen setting the image uh, here we're making the request making the, the request to vision I forgot my L so that will work okay next and then what we want to do last is print out those labels so for label in labels uh, print and then it's a function now in Python 3 label. Okay, let's see what happens. Perfect. 
so as you can see, we were able to send that and get back data. So you can see that it thinks there's font. It's got a 0.9 score. Top of the aliquot is 9, 9, 0.9. So it's very strong that there's font in the image. It's pretty confident that there's text in the image. It's also reasonably confident that it's black and white, but it's a 0.6. Uh, it knows that there's a picture of some description, but it's 50-50 on it. Um, no, thinks there's a logo, half and half. Graphics, half and half. So as you can see, there's actually there's actually quite a lot to this, um, and to get the annotations back. Um, so I'll put this code up for free on GitHub um, because as you can see, sometimes you get warnings in the middle of your IDE and they're not really relevant. Um, so that should make it easier for you guys. Um, I'll also make it freely available on my website as always, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. And until next time, thanks for watching.